Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me in Florida at the Wrench Everyday HQ, the workshop of my friend Freddy from Tavares. And today we're going to be checking out the bright orange Lambo up top, a car that last year we saw in here being worked on and then saw on display at SEMA. This is his Mercia Lago from Fast and the Furious, a car that wasn't in the best of states. It is now a completed car, and today we're gonna to be taking it out on the roads. So let's catch up with Freddy, get the Gallardo out so we can bring the Mercy down and take it on out. And we are joined then by the man himself. How are you doing, Freddy? Pretty good, how are you? Very good, it is nice to be back, and this place is completely different. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. It's transformed, <laughs> yeah. it's tidy, you've got the ramps. Yeah, yeah, so uh, these are my Benpack uh, four-post lifts. I, yeah, you call them ramps. And uh, this has transformed the way that I basically store all my cars. I wanted a collection sort of atmosphere instead of the dirty workshop that I had before. Well, I'm uh, very jealous. It looks awesome. I love this, the cleanness of it. The car's all undercover, they're being protected. Last time you kind of had just cars, one alongside the other, you had all sorts of things going. I mean, you still have projects going on, obviously, oh, you're well, Tavares. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> uh, so uh, the difference between being a hoarder and being a collector is presentation. So uh, I decided that this is gonna be the clean part of my garage. I'm still cleaning. This is not the cleanest thing. You're not doing badly. But, uh, you know, this is going to be where I showcase all the cars that are done, that are complete, that are uh, more or less clean, and I'm keeping them covered up because it does get pretty dusty in here. Yeah, like normal in a workshop. And I'm now going to trouble you to remove some of the covers because oh, we yeah. need to get this down. Now, as a quick reminder, everybody, I came out, it was October last year. Yes. Came out, the car was positioned just over here. You still had a ton of things to do to it. Oh, yeah, it was in a million pieces. And uh, it was SEMA crunch time. SEMA crunch time was very, very real. I didn't get any sleep at all for weeks <laughs> and uh it was fun i mean the, the car went to sema and uh, it was my first time and man it was uh, it was just an overwhelming experience people really loved it and the car drove really nicely after that yeah for sure well i think if you don't mind we should pull the gallardo out which i imagine is probably quite noisy itself a little bit a little I mean, bit it's not exactly stock so uh for people that don't know this is my 2008 lamborghini gallardo spider and it has been heavily modified with a uh, twin turbo system that I built uh, along with my friend Tony in my two-car garage at home. So okay. uh, this is a pretty modified car. Um, the engine can hold up to 1,600 horsepower. Oh. Um, it's not making that. It's uh, it's making right around 800, so a good okay. daily driver amount. Yeah. So uh, this is actually the car that uh, catapulted my channel into something of a success. Um, this is the first sort of supercar rebuild yeah. that, that you've seen. And now they're, they're kind of a dime a dozen. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but let me, let me just go get the keys. Got the keys. Got the keys. Which means I'm going to head around the back because a V10 always sounds lovely. You sure you want to um, head around the back? No, okay, is it going to be that kind of level of no, loud? No, 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 it's, it's, I'm, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> Okay, you had me worried for a second there. We get this started up, fire it into life. Right. Oh, look, it's, and yep. this is a gated manual, by the way. Oh, very nice. <laughs> it's not quiet. No. It has a nice snap. Yeah. And as you were saying, gated manual. Oh, yeah. That's what it's about. All right, so we'll just get this moved out of the way quickly so that we can pull the, the ramp down with the Mercy that's up top. Gallardos are really cool. This was, I think, actually the car basically for Lamborghini as well, the kind of projected Lamborghini uh, into a large number of sales. Having the baby supercar. Look at that at the back. Look how cool that is. Love it. Absolutely love it. We've got the front ramps now to drive it off. So how exactly does this work? So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is take it off the locks using this button. So you have to lift it up a touch first. Yep, like that. It groans a little bit, that's okay. You uh, press this to engage the airlocks, like that. Yeah. And you drop it. it down. This is a brilliant way to make more storage and have the cars looking really cool in the process. Yeah, I like it. And uh, it's, it's fairly simple. All you need is an airline and a regular house wiring connection. Simples. And then we have this car. This car that we saw. I mean, it was not in a good way when it began. No, no, it wasn't. So uh, I had to do a lot to this car. Um, when I first got it, it had 11 layers of paint all over the, uh, all over the body. It had uh, some mechanical issues. 
it definitely had some interior issues because it didn't have an interior. Yes. That had to all get redone. And if you look at it now, this is completely redone in the Arancio Argos paint, mm -hmm. which was the launch color for the Aventador. And this is how it was in the movie, except actually presentable. So I had to get new front and rear bumpers. I had to get uh, the wheels refinished. I had to uh, redo some of the suspension components and a lot of nickel and dime stuff that just really wasn't available. I got the car with no, no side mirrors. So <laughs> those are <laughs> pretty expensive. So. I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. And then just for fun, you made it rear wheel drive. Yes, yes, because these cars are, you know, despite them being mostly carbon fiber on the body, these are very, very heavy. They're like 4,000 pounds. I don't know how many kilos that is. Probably lots. 10 billion kilos. <laughs> uh, so um, with rear wheel drive, you take out the front wheel drive drivetrain and that lightens it up by about 200 pounds. And uh, it makes the car a little bit more lively, a little bit more fun. Uh, this is a largely biased in the rear car. Uh, so you can't have too much fun and you also do have to drive it with a traction control off because the traction control system is very intrusive, let's say. So um, it's, it's a fun car to drive. For sure, and it's a big 6.2 liter yes. V12 lump back there. Yep, and in fact, I have another 6.2 liter oh, really? V12 lump. Yeah, and it's right here behind oh. the car. <laughs> and this is actually the engine from the sister car because they used, I believe, two or three of these uh, Murcielagos. So what they did was uh, for the stunt car, the other car, they took this engine out. They took out all the drivetrain, all the uh, mechanical components and wiring, and uh, they put in a Jag V6 with a five speed. No so, way. Yeah, yeah. It, it, uh, it didn't make any sense. They did that for the uh, Fast and Furious Live. Actually, in the UK. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, the, the show. Fast and Furious Live Arena show. Okay. And that didn't do very well. And I ended up getting my hands on this at some point, and I just said I had to have it. So I have <laughs> basically an entire other Mercy just without the body. So I have all the mechanical components. Don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but it's it's good for spares. For sure. Yeah. That's awesome. Just casually having a Lamborghini V12 oh, yeah. spare engine sitting there. I believe the, the car is open. Okay. Yeah. Have a quick look at the uh, updated interior because there was one thing there's one small nerdy detail i really liked about yes. this i mean obviously we saw what i saw when i was out here before your new quilting you'd done to the seats yes. and the interior and some of the trims but you added that fancy rear view mirror yes yeah <laughs> so it has a front and rear view facing camera uh has a dvr um it's always recording so uh if the car does get a, a shunt in the front of the back it's uh you know, it, I can easily say who was at fault. That's and cool. hopefully it wasn't me. Well, we'll have a quick look at that when we're out on the road. So, this is uh, this is awesome. Um, gated, of course. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, e would you have it any other way? Well, the e-gear gearbox wasn't exactly the best, was it? Nah, and these no, things. it wasn't, no. <laughs> I've only driven a Mercy once before, um, an SV, which was really cool, but with paddles. Have you not driven a gated? Nope, never driven a gated Mercy. Ooh, you're going to like this. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, you're going to like this a lot. <laughs> well, uh, let's, I think, probably get it started up, get it taken on out, sure. and uh, I'll jump in with you at the wheel. Okay. Oh, we need to get you a plate on the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I got that. <laughs> uh, do you want to do a, a quick quick little startup, a cold start on it? Yes, uh, on a yes, Mercy. yes, we need a cold start of this. So this is actually not very uh, dramatic. It's Sometimes not as aggressive. It's noise, right? But yeah. it's not as aggressive. Yeah. Well, we'll take a listen. I'm yeah. sure it's going to be uh, impressive nonetheless. Alright, wanna let the fuel pump do their thing? Sure. And... <laughs> <laughs> Not bad at all. So, the Fast and the Furious Mercy, which, oh yeah, we need to pull those out. The chocks on the wheels. Carefully does it. This car is so epic, and um, Freddie put a lot of hours into it. It was actually really cool even watching his first drive. It's a very emotional first drive. So we're gonna take it out. This for me is pretty cool as well. A long time after the first seeing the car when I came to visit here in the workshop. Now we are taking it out on the road to uh, see a little bit of what it's about. It's a wide, 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 wide car. We're gonna get the car outside. We just stopped it for a moment, but this does mean we get another start up. <laughs> and the thing about the Mercy is you can drive it with the door up because of course it doesn't hang out. It just goes straight up. Proper Lamborghini doors, that generation. The car will come out of the workshop here. 
and then we'll go out onto the roads where there are many other things still being worked on and some future projects as well. But um, yeah, beast that is this Lambo for the roads. Alrighty, we've got the doors then, open them upwards. Always very nice. Let me take a step inside here. There's actually quite a lot of room in here. Well, I mean, there's there's more than you think and also less than you think. If you look above you... Yeah, true. Headroom. There's, there's headroom, no headroom is not, yeah. um, not particularly abundant. Nope. But we are in. Seatbelts in the middle. Yeah, I always forget. Every single time. <laughs> you always instinctively go for the window side. Mm -hmm. But yeah, here we are. This is a very updated interior, isn't it? Yeah, so I did the uh, forged carbon on all the... Well, what would be Everything. carbon normally. Yeah. So grab handle, we have... The uh, forced yeah. carbon here, the steering wheel, uh, steering with the nice. orange matching the uh, Aranzio Argos mm -hmm. at the exterior. Also, the stitching also matching. So, and you see the, the V12 back there. Yeah, so. not a bad view. That makes the entire car shake and vibrate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's that's old school how it should be. So, let's get out for a little drive then. Okay. Let's we'll see what this thing is like. Even just the clunk when you stick it into first gear. Oh, yeah. So, it these things good. need to be a little bit. Uh, warmed up because the gearboxes don't like to be you know slam shifted or anything yep. like that everything has to be, it's not delicate uh, it can definitely handle a lot of power but there is a way to do these things there's a process <laughs> involved it sounds good in here it sounds really really nice yeah it's, it's not bad actually uh, I don't know if the camera can get this but if you roll the window down the intakes are right behind your head and you can hear the sucking really yeah on the air yeah you get a good view of that in those mirrors you hear that yeah 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 <laughs> that's cool as you go straight onto the throttle you hear the sound yeah and then you obviously you've also got the clunks of the uh the shifter which mm -hmm. is just i mean special you don't get those anymore yeah so this is like the only turn in florida <laughs> Make the most of the one or two corners. And it does pop and crackle just a little bit. And it's not from any sort of ECU tune, it's just, just the way it is. So how does it how does it feel for you? I mean it was a I personally really enjoyed when you took this for the first drive. Yeah. You've done a few drives now. I know you took oh, it, yeah. you've taken it on a, on a long road trip as well. Mm -hmm. Does this still feel really special driving this? It's it's unreal driving this thing. I mean, I can't believe that. I don't feel like it's my car. I feel yeah. like I'm just holding it for somebody. <laughs> and you know, I, they just gave me the keys and the registration. But it, you know, it's it's uh, it's very humbling. Uh, I can't believe that you know the, the team that I put together uh, put this together and. You know, this is this is crazy. I mean, it's it's legitimately one of the most famous Lamborghinis in the world at this point. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how to come to terms with that. I just yeah. you know drive it, and it drives really nicely. And you know, I'm just gonna enjoy it because at the at the end of the day, I'm just a guy who likes cars. Yeah, yeah. And it's great that you're driving it. What was it like on a longer slog? Uh, it was it was very good. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this car is. There's a bit of a drone uh, when you're around 3,000 RPM. Um, it just gets in your head, and in order to drown that out, you have to crank the music. Okay. Uh, so your ears are gonna be ringing by the time you get home. Yeah. But uh, the other issue that I have with this car is the attention. So it gets okay. a crazy amount of attention everywhere, all the time, 24-7, 365. Yeah. So it's, yeah. I um, mean, that's par for the course in a bright orange Lamborghini. But I'm not the guy that needs attention, but I guess I shouldn't have gotten this car if that was not the case, right? <laughs> One thing that is really interesting about this car is that um, maybe since it was rear-wheel drive, maybe since it was uh, you know converted, the traction control system is a little bit wonky, and you can't drive this thing at any more than like 30% throttle um, uh, without the traction control system turning on. Yeah. So all the time you have to turn the traction control system off. <laughs> Which, if you're thinking about it, you know, 600 horsepower V12 with just the traction in the rear and most of the weight in the rear, and these cars were sort of known for snap oversteer, and you're turning the traction control off, like that's a recipe for disaster, but that's, yeah. that's par for the course with these cars. You gotta keep your wits about you. Yeah. This is where it sounds oh so sweet. It's like, um, I mean, a natural gas operated V12 always has this amazing, amazing sound. It's like a wheel. Oh yeah, it's a, so I went through three different exhausts yeah. to make it sound like this, and uh, one of the things I love, this is the, the fast speed exhaust, yeah. and V12 
A, got the valving and proportions and the resonance just right. So, you know, if I wanted to free rev, like... It just, it's, <laughs> it sounds, it sounds insane. Yes. Just insane. Wow. Nice, nice shit. <laughs> so, I, one of the reasons why I got this is the fact that it was a manual and these manuals are increasingly rare uh you probably know how many there how many were made but i i know that it was definitely less than we have to ask our mutual friend ed Bowley and a yeah, bit when you get the numbers yeah yeah ed, yeah ed would definitely know but they were not very common um and to find one now that that drives this well it's uh, it's it's increasingly difficult feels like it's almost new to be honest. I'm actually amazed by how civilized, sensible and comfortable this feels. Oh yeah, and more comfortable than an event store. Well yeah, so <laughs> we, we styled the seats after that yeah. and uh, we wanted to have as much usable room as we could. So um, right now, I mean everything in the car has been redone so that's why it feels like a new car. Yeah. There's a new leather smell, like literally. Yeah, yeah, new smell. leather smell, the stitching of a modern car. Right. I mean, cars at the time didn't have the kind of double stitch mm -hmm. and the quilting the design that you have here. And one of the things that people don't, um, it, it's a misconception about these cars, is that they're hard to drive. Like, they're very cumbersome. Like, yes, this is a wide car, it's low, um, but as far as the clutch, as far as the throttle response, it is very, very easy. That's one of the, that's one of the best kept secrets of Lamborghinis. Like, they're actually very easy to drive. Okay. Alrighty, time to switch a roof. So this is where the door goes up. Oh, gonna have to push it yep, in a yep. straight it, way. It needs a new strut. <laughs> then come around. Doors up, always looking awesome. Especially this color in the sunshine too. So nice. So uh, this is a car of an era. I mean, we're roughly the same age. We both mm -hmm. had these. Yep. On the walls. And there we go. We didn't talk about this yet. The mirror. This is cool. Yeah, just uh, press it. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. And that's the rear view camera. And then you have the front. That's, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. This is, this is, this is nerdy, but I absolutely love it. And you can move the view around as yep. well. Brightness and some settings. Mm -hmm. Wow. And if you turn it off, it just becomes a regular mirror with your uh, yeah. lane display and uh, GPS. Overlaid on the yep. top. Yep. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I love that. All right, well, I probably need to give you this if you don't Oh, mind. sure, sure, of course. Uh, pass you that in a second. Um, stuff falling out of my pockets, normal supercar problems. Of course. But, uh, yeah, here we are. Thank you for trusting me to handle your baby here. Um, I figure that you probably have some experience with these cars. A little bit, a little bit, but definitely gonna have to move the seat forward up a bit shorter mm -hmm. than you. <laughs> it's okay, it's all right. There we go. So we, we modeled these seats directly after my robust torso. Okay. <laughs> so, you know. There we go. Okay. All right, clunk, clunk. Yeah, uh, handbrake? Yes, does it fly off? Yes. Yeah. There we there go. There we go. All right, mm -hmm. into gear. I'm like super nervous because I know how special this car is. <laughs> Don't be nervous, it's just a car. You go out the way we came. Yeah, back all the way around. Mm -hmm. You're right though, it's pretty gentle and easy to yep. get moving. Watch this, uh, this yeah, bump over yeah. here. Don't want to damage your, uh, your front splitter. I am definitely banging my sunglasses on the roof. Oh yeah. Under my head, there's not a huge yeah, amount for of space sure. up there. Okay, just make a right and then go, go all the way. This so is you really, can't go um, I mean, easy, gentle, smooth. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's not like an e-gear. <laughs> no. You do feel a bit wonky though. Yeah, because you're not pointing 100% straight. <laughs> I just got a massive smile on my face. Just, as we said, just drive it gently and it still sounds this epic and raw and involving. Yep. Oh, new cars don't do this. <laughs> You need to get one of these, man. I'm thinking it. The involvement of this, just flipping it down between the gears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't think you've ever been a passenger in here, have you? I have never been a passenger in this car. That's kind of cool as well. It, it feels so weird. <laughs> I've just got a big smile on my face. Mm -hmm. Partly because I'm so happy for you having done this. Oh. I know the blood, sweat and tears that you've been through. 
course. I mean, I, I love sharing it with people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but there's also a story I know behind this. So this shifter, um, it's actually like, I love the look of the shifter, but you can see that there's some imperfection here. There's, yeah. uh, there's some grinding marks and stuff. That's because when I got this car originally, uh, I guess during filming, they broke the shifter and then they welded it. It was weird, like at an angle. So you couldn't get it off or anything. And I had to take a lot of time to carefully cut this out. And then I had to, if you take the shifter off, I welded a bolt in here. Okay. So this is just like a hardware stop, uh, ah. start bolt. Yeah, and it's welded in here. It's actually uh, a lot more sturdy than the factory. Um, but I kept this in here just as a piece of history yeah. of this car uh, because it was worked on and I didn't want to let that go. So that's even though cool. that's imperf you know, it's imperfect and Lamborghini owners probably wouldn't like that, I, that is like one of my favorite parts about this But shit. it's perfect in its imperfection. Yes. You know, and, and it's very much this. so. The feel of going through the gearbox mm -hmm. is so yeah. rewarding. Yep, and especially when it's warmed up, it likes to go into gears just fine. Oh, instantly the reversing camera pops up. Mm -hmm. That's nice as well. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I like. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. This has been epic. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, this is so, so cool. I think it gets even louder when it's been driven a little bit. You're pretty good, go straight back. Take it straight back and you're bang on. <laughs> this car is so much narrower at the front than it is at the back. That's actually insane. It's so much narrower. That is then all parked up. Congratulations again. Thank you for the opportunity to drive. Dude, thank you so much for driving this. This has been a dream come true for me. You can come back anytime and drive any of my cars. Well, I appreciate that. But having seen some of what you had to do with this, having seen it in SEMA and now having driven it as well, a special story as well for me. So I appreciate that. Dude, thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. The links are down below to Freddy's channels. Do go and subscribe to Tavarish if you aren't already. But thank you very much for watching. As always, that's it for now. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.